Hey there guys, Jonathan Levy here of becomeasuperlearner.com and uh, this video is gonna be a little bit of a damaging admission. Uh, if any of you guys have seen my TED Talk, you know that I talked about being jacked up on prescription stimulants uh, for most of my teenage years and young adult life. What I didn't mention is uh, I, still, I still use Ritalin pretty much every single day and uh, that's because it's prescribed to me and honestly the real reason is because it, going off it is really, really painful. If any of you have a chemical dependency on something like an antidepressant or Adderall or something like that, you know that it's a really hard process. And I have gone off of it for weeks at a time in my life. Uh, I've gone off it for six months when I was 23, 24. And it just took like two weeks to get back into it. I had to go back on to sit in a classroom eight hours a day in business school. And since then, I've just been using it in varying forms. Well, so recently it's gotten to the point where it's pretty much hard to wake up without it. I really feel that chemical dependency in a way that someone who drinks six cups of coffee a day just can't get up, can't wake up without coffee. And I realized I had a problem when I had to take the medication and then go back to sleep just to wake up and feel like a human being again. And so I'm at a point, again, damaging admission, not stuff I'm super proud of, but I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what, I'm meditating and I'm using mnemonic techniques and my nutrition is dialed in, like do I really need this stuff the way that I did need it when I was sitting in a classroom eight hours a day because <laughs> there's no doubt that I needed it. I mean, nothing against if you need pharmaceuticals. They really saved my life in some capacity. They pulled me off of a very dark path that I was heading down of just no accomplishment, no ability to sit still, teachers constantly kind of telling my parents that I needed to be medicated. Uh, and being the most disruptive kid in class. So I think the medication has its place, but I've also had some of the most successful periods of my life when I was learning super learning, where I was not on the drugs. And so I wanna try and figure that out now that I'm back out of business school for a few years now, uh, and I'm doing things that I really love like this. Uh, I don't really think I need the medication. And I think, you know, you always gotta kinda look at it like this, like benefits and costs. And I, I always say that there aren't that many costs, or I've historically said that there aren't that many costs. But when I can't get out of bed in the morning, or when I don't want to take it on a Saturday, and all I want to do is sleep, that's a pretty big cost. So and I think in, in the 15 years that I've been taking the medication, uh, so much other stuff has come out. I mean, you have these perfectly safe, perfectly legal, over the counter uh, nootropics today, many of which have less toxicity and less side effects than something like Ritalin. Like if you look at the package of Ritalin, it's got a ton of warnings, whereas Aniracetam is so well accepted in the body. Uh, and so that's it. I mean, I've gone into a little bit of a ramble here, guys, but basically my goal today was to figure out, can I get rid of that two week uh, withdrawal period by using Aniracetam? And also just to experience Aniracetam, I, I have bottles of like 10 different nootropics around here. Uh, that people send me as samples through the podcast. So to see like, how does it feel and how difficult is it gonna be for me to get off the medication? Um, as you'll see, not, not a great experiment, pretty poorly designed experiment and I apologize for that. But if you guys do wanna see more experiments where I try out different forms of nootropics, like I said, I've got 10 different ones here that people have kindly sent to me. Uh, if you want more of my experience sharing of what it's like to go off the medication and how I'm going to do that and why I'm going to do that and if I'm going to do that, because like I said, the medication has served me really well all of my life. Uh, let me know. Um, I'm here for you guys. I want to know what you guys think. You know, even if you guys are really disappointed to hear this stuff, let me know. Uh, this is me kind of being human with you guys and letting you know that just like so many of you, I have my own health struggles and my own stuff and I'm definitely not perfect. So what follows is kind of a, a vlog of check-ins throughout the day of how I'm feeling and what's working and what's not. All right, guys, thanks so much. And I look forward to reading your comments. What's going on, guys? Jonathan Levy here. It is 6.30 in the morning, uh, and I am about to conduct a little bit of an experiment uh, of the nootropic variety. So most mornings, I I must confess, I've I've become a little bit more chemically dependent on Ritalin than I would like. I do have a prescription. I've taken it for years and years and years, on and off and on and off. And recently, I've found that it's really hard to wake up and feel alert without it, which means there's some kind of chemical dependency formatting, forming. 
So uh, today I'm going to be experimenting with a little bit of a more, I don't know if I would call it natural, but l more kind of wide range nootropic. Uh, so I've been weaning myself off for the last couple of days of Ritalin and just feeling really, really tired, stuff like that, which always happens when I tend to go cold turkey on it. Um, today I'm going to be trying out uh, Nexus, which is a nootropic by Axion Labs. Uh, they were kind enough to send me a bottle of it when I had uh, their founder on my podcast, uh, but have in no way kind of like paid for the review or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to give it a try. First observations, uh, my morning meditation was definitely a little bit less focused than it is on mornings where I take Ritalin first thing and then go about my morning routine. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the Nexus, which I believe is uh, based on aniracetam. Yeah, aniracetam, CDP choline, phosphotidylycerine, that's a new one, and pycnogenol. I'll, I'll put those up in the video. But uh, I'm looking forward for the aniracetam to kick in because it is one of those things that can really, really focus you. And I think as you guys can tell, uh, I'm still pretty focused. I'm still able to function and speak. Uh, but definitely don't have the drive and motivation that I would uh, on a nootropic. So I'll be checking in throughout the day uh, and speaking hopefully a little bit louder once you know the neighbors wake up. But uh, I'll be checking in throughout the day and letting you guys know how it's going, how I'm feeling, and how Nexus is for a replacement for all those of you who, like me, have been prescribed these heavy uh, neurostimulants and perhaps want to get off of them. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey there guys, so it is 8.15, about two hours after taking the Nexus. Uh, my bedhead has not improved, but my focus has. I just managed to get through a really actually long podcast episode that I needed to quality control. So listen to that for about an hour, did all the show notes, everything like that, was able to really focus in on that. Granted, it was a very interesting conversation, so it wasn't too hard to focus on. But uh, focus is feeling pretty good. I am feeling a little bit tired. Uh, that could be a multitude of factors. One, I didn't drink any coffee, caffeine, tea, yerba mate, the stuff that I normally drink in the morning for a little bit of pep because I wanted to get a really pure uh, experiment for you guys. Uh, the other thing is, you know, I, I only slept six hours. I was woken up many, many times in the middle of the night by like a really weird pain. I think I kind of bruised my ribs doing acro yoga yesterday. So I woke up a lot in the middle of the night and was woken up and couldn't get back to sleep at six. And then the third thing is, of course, like I said, when I tend to go off of the Ritalin, uh, if I've built up a dependency and I've been taking it for a long chunk of time, which I have in this case, I must admit, uh, then I'm really, really tired. And it's just like the, uh, well, you know how all these stimulants work. You get to a certain point where your body needs the stimulant to produce the right amount of kind of alertness hormones. So I'm definitely feeling that. I'm thinking probably, uh, well, I have a meeting today at 11, so I'm not going to be able to make my kind of like noon nap that I do every day anyways. But I'm already starting to think about ways that I can kind of like fit in a nap or a meditation, or I may just break the experiment a little bit and have a cup of afternoon coffee. I don't really see the harm in that. Uh, in any case, definitely feeling pretty focused, uh, a little bit less of kind of an, an intense focus and like a heartbeat focus that I would feel if I was stacking Ritalin with Mate or Ritalin with, you know, some espresso. Um, so it's kind of a calm focus, I would say. Uh, and I've been able to be productive. Uh, I definitely have a, a good amount of drive and motivation, maybe not as much as if I were completely doped out of my mind. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to the rest of the work day. Should be able to get some good stuff done. So I will check in with you guys probably in another couple hours, maybe before heading to the meeting. We'll see how I'm doing. What's going on, guys? It is now quarter to noon here. Uh, I'm out in the world getting a little vitamin D. Had to run to a meeting. Uh, not gonna lie, had to take a little bit of a nap shortly after the last video. I had been fasting, had my breakfast, some bacon and eggs, and then just kind of crashed. Was supposed to be a 25 nap, turned into like a 35, 40 nap. Uh, felt a lot better after, so I think what was happening there was some of the withdrawal symptoms, both the caffeine withdrawal 
and also the Ritalin withdrawal just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks and I'm, I'm pretty aware in my body. I know really, really uh, what's happening at any given time. I knew that I would sleep really, really well and have like a very light, uh, very dream inducing sleep, which I did. And uh, then I woke up, bounded back, have a pretty good amount of energy, all things considered. I mean, I've realized throughout the course of the day that my experiment design is really lousy because uh, I should have titrated probably the Ritalin and I should have most likely given it a much longer grace period of about a week to two weeks. So I'll likely be trying the Nexus again. Uh, but yeah, right now, just about to head back. Uh, I think I'm gonna have an afternoon coffee and kind of break the experiment a little bit more since it has been flawed kind of from the beginning. But uh, Nexus has been working pretty well for me. Uh, I definitely don't have the kind of heart thumping motivation that I would have if I were on Ritalin stacked with espresso like normally I have been in the, in the last few weeks or months. So uh, that's the check-in. Things are going well. My, my mood is good. Normally when I'm going through withdrawal from Ritalin, my mood is really bad. And today my mood has been good and that I attribute to obviously the nap, a uh, little bit of vitamin D, but I think the Nexus has probably helped keep my mood up and keep me out of that kind of pissy um, withdrawal mood that sometimes people get into. So uh, there's the update and I will let you guys know. I, I imagine probably the Nexus is wearing off, but I'll let you guys know one more update towards the end of the day because they do say you can only take two pills per 24 hours of the Nexus. And so that means no double dosing like you might do with something like a short, uh, a short burst kind of non-extended release Ritalin or Adderall. So uh, one dose per day. And I guess uh, I'll have to ask Jesse and see just how long it's supposed to last, but um, I will let you guys know in a few hours what I have been able to accomplish. Uh, hopefully going to get some web work done, uh, which is always super distracting and stuff like that. So, great. Hey there, guys. I'm back. It is now 5 o'clock, and I as, am, as you can see, back in my home office. Uh, not the most productive day I've had, let me say. Uh, I came home, got a little bit of work done, did a little bit of uh, web work, fixed some JavaScript that's really been pissing me off. So I was able to really focus in on that, but just didn't have the drive and motivation. And again, I'm attributing that to withdrawal symptoms. I'm not really going to fault uh, the nootropic that I was trying out today because I'm just, I don't have my mojo. I think really I want to apologize to you guys because the experiment design has been very much lacking here. Uh, and I think if I were to do it again, and I likely will do it again, uh, if you guys want to see it, is uh, I should do a better job titrating off the medication first and then experimenting once I'm back in kind of a normal state. So just the tiredness today. I mean, I came home, worked a little bit, three o'clock, had a double espresso. That kind of has kept me awake. Uh, that was about two hours ago. And uh, it's kept me kind of functional, but my motivation had just dipped off after the last video that I recorded. And, uh, you know, it's, I really think it's withdrawal symptoms. We've all felt caffeine withdrawal. So I had today a little bit of caffeine withdrawal up until the point where I had coffee and definitely had some Ritalin withdrawal. Uh, so I'm going to be experimenting again with aniracetam. Um, as I said, I, I really want to try and get off the medication or at least get to a point where I'm only using it for the kinds of really difficult tasks. I mean, I, I have doctor supervision and I have my doctor's blessing to use the medication every day, but, uh, I've gone long periods of time in my life without it, and I think I'd like to uh, try that again and see how I feel uh, emotionally and also intellectually. So uh, again, I, I know I've said this before, but let me know what you guys think of these videos, if you guys are enjoying them, if you're not enjoying them, uh, because I'm here to provide value, share my experiences, and uh, you know, just be be here for you guys and, and show you guys kind of what I'm doing, what I'm going through. So let me know in the comments and hit subscribe if you would like to see more videos where I test out more nootropics and more fun stuff and more brain hacks and good stuff like that. All right, guys, take care.